But I think that um, you know this the availability of epinephrine injections for patients with uh, severe allergies is is very important. I mean, patients need to have access um, to those uh, particular products and know how to use them. I mean, they're they're life saving uh, kinds of products. But with the with the products that are available, each has its own um, its own recommendations for I mean, own directions about how to use it specifically. So I think the pharmacist should take the opportunity. First of all, there are teaching devices that are available for the uh, various products that are uh, that, that that are out there, and so pharmacists should, should take uh, get those and be able to uh, teach the patient. Because when when the allergy occurs, I mean, the patient has to be able uh, to use the different products. So I think they have to be able to use it uh, correctly. And and then secondly, I think we're seeing an increase in, in awareness that there are some uh, accidental injections of these. Um, and that, especially if you're thinking about a parent and a child, um, that there have been some cases where, I mean, you, the, the child may jump or move or something and uh, the person can inject their self. And there are some uh, potential big problems associated with that. So I think the main thing the pharmacist should focus on are the proper use of the device, when to use the device, and what to do after administering the epinephrine, and also uh, ways to avoid this accidental injection.